So I've got the track flex all set up and as you can see on my phone, the camera is facing completely the opposite direction. Uh, I'm going to try to walk past it and try not to get detected. And there you go, the PIRs have picked me up, the camera's rotated and there's the Telegram snapshot coming through via Home Assistant. Hey everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek, a channel that's all about home assistant and smart home technology. So what you just saw there was one of the unique features of a brand new Reolink outdoor camera, the TrackFlex floodlight. And out of all of the cameras that I've tested recently, this one has really caught my attention with its side detection features, PTZ functionality and super bright floodlights. Today, we'll cover the hardware specs, key features, image quality, and then I'll show you how I'm integrating it into Home Assistant to send instant snapshots to Telegram, all using a visual automation builder called Cafe. So whether you're here for the camera review or the smart home integration, there's almost certainly something in this video for you. Thanks to Reolink for sending me out their new TrackFlex floodlight camera to review on the channel. As always, they've had no editorial input into this video and you'll get my honest thoughts and opinions about it. So first off, let's take a quick look inside the box and you get an instruction booklet, an accessories pack and the camera. The accessories pack includes a mounting template, warning stickers, roll plugs, wire nuts, and then there's also a USB-C cable. Basically everything you need to install the camera apart from the tools themselves. This is a mains powered camera, so there's no battery or solar panel to worry about. And first impressions are that it's really well built with a clean design for this type of camera. The mounting bracket is very clever. You can fit it flush against a wall or rotate it to mount it under a soffit if required. And the back plate slides down to reveal the internal wiring. And inside you get a pre-mounted chock block and even a mini spirit level to make sure it's perfectly level. Around the sides of the camera body, you've got these PIR sensors, which help detect movement even when the camera isn't pointing directly at the action. At the front are the big floodlights, which are fully adjustable so you can direct the light where you need it. The camera head itself is PTZ, so it can pan, tilt and zoom as required. And it also has auto tracking, so it will follow any detected subject automatically. On the spec side of things, well, it's an 8 megapixel camera with 4K resolution and up to 20 frames per second for nice smooth footage. The main lens has 104 degree horizontal and 60 degree vertical field of view. And there's a second lens with a narrower 38 by 21 degree field of view for more focus shots. Those dual lenses work really well together, one providing the wide angle footage view, whilst the second offers a six times hybrid zoom, providing a greater visibility and clarity of objects in the footage. You've got color night vision as well as infrared, and the floodlights are bright, 3000 lumens with adjustable warmth from 3000 to 6000 K. Connectivity wise, well, it supports dual band Wi-Fi 6. It has two way audio, 110 decibel siren, and it's IP66 rated for weather resistance. You have local storage via micro SD card up to 512 gigabytes, and you can link it to a Reolink hub or MVR. But there is the option to use the Reolink cloud storage for a small monthly fee if you want. On the smart side of things, it features AI detection for people, animals and vehicles with adjustable sensitivity for object size. And if you're using a smart home setup, it integrates with Google Home or Home Assistant via the Platinum Level Reolink integration. We'll look at that shortly. One of the biggest benefits of a high quality camera like this is the footage itself. I've got some 4K a daytime footage of my I test chart and you can see how crisp and detailed it is even from over 15 feet away. Even when I try moving around a bit, the camera keeps focused on me and the eye chart is still perfectly readable. And here's some nighttime footage and those floodlights really make a difference. The area is bright and evenly lit and you can still make out the detail even in low light. 
in this clip here, you can see how that second lens zooms into an area to bring it into focus whilst the main lens keeps recording the wider location. If you're enjoying this kind of smart home product review, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more smart home content like this. Now having a 4K camera is all well and good, but if it's in a location where it can't detect you, then it's a wasted camera. And what makes this camera really interesting is what it can do beyond just recording. Reolink have designed this camera with side detection, so the camera doesn't have to be facing you directly to detect motion. Once it detects something via the PIR sensors, it rotates the camera and picks up that activity. As you can see here in this footage, those PIR sensors work really well and I'm 15 feet away when it's detected me and rotated the camera head around to record me. You can configure the sensitivity of these PIR sensors in the mobile app and adjust them to your requirements. It's also got auto tracking, so when the camera picks up motion, it will then keep tracking the subject automatically until they are out of the detection zone, making it really difficult to hide from the camera. In this footage here, I'm going past the camera and it keeps moving the camera head around, keeping me in the frame all the time. And then you've got monitoring points that you can set up in the app, allowing you to quickly move between specific areas that the camera can cover, after which it will return back to its default location. As for notifications, well, in this clip here, I've just stepped past the corner of my house, and as you can see, the notification came through super quick. These features combined make it much more flexible than a standard outdoor camera. The Reolink mobile app allows you to quite easily do what you need to do, and it has lots of functionality that sets it apart from other brands. You also have a PC application available should you want to interact with your camera on a larger screen, but in the app you've got settings for what is displayed on the video footage and where that information is positioned, whether it's in color or black and white when recording, you can set up a privacy mask, you can record audio or configure noise reduction, and then you've got your light controls. So you can turn on or off the status LED if you want to make it less obvious that the camera is there. Lots of settings for the floodlight, so change the brightness and color temperature, whether you want the floodlight always on at night, on a timer, or only when it detects certain things. You have various settings such as the AI motion detection, the different types of motions so people, vehicle, animal, or just general motion. And you can configure them individually, including their size and sensitivity levels for detection. Finally, you've got the usual settings like push notifications, email alerts, and the siren, FTP options, which is useful for downloading your footage to your NAS, for example. And you've also got a time-lapse option if you want to record fancy sunrises or sunsets. The camera supports Google Home, but if you use Home Assistant, then this is where it gets really fun. Using the Reolink Platinum Level integration, I have access to all the camera's functionality directly inside Home Assistant, including the PTZ control. So for this, I'm just going to use Cafe, which is a visual drag and drop automation builder for Home Assistant that I've just taken a look at on the channel recently. And I'll just drop a few nodes onto the canvas and I'm going to want it so that when the camera detects motion, then it will take a snapshot, save that image, and then finally it's going to send that image to the Telegram bot that I also set up on the channel recently. Of course, because it's visual, it's really easy to modify or add extra conditions here, like only sending snapshots during certain hours or only when the camera sees certain types of objects. As you saw in the opening footage, as soon as the camera has detected motion, it's then gone and run this automation to grab a snapshot and then send that through to my Telegram account, which then popped up on my mobile. And having this means I don't have to open any apps and I get instant context of what's happening, whether I'm at home or away. The Reolink TrackFlex floodlight has just launched in the US and Australia. So if you're in those regions, you can pick it up now for $239 or $368 respectively. It'll be coming to other regions around March and you can pre-order with a 10% discount. I'll have links in the description if you want to grab one. 
this camera has really impressed me over the last few months that I've been testing it. It's solidly built, image quality is excellent, and the detection features are extremely powerful. Depending on where you place it, it could easily replace multiple cameras, which could save you money. And for Home Assistant users, this is a no-brainer. The Platinum level integration opens up tons of possibilities for automations and your dashboards, making it much more than just a simple camera. My only niggle with this camera is that there is no automatic patrol mode between the bookmark locations, and if this were a battery-powered camera, then I could understand why that might not be an option. However, that doesn't detract from its amazing functionality and features. So that's the Reolink TrackFlex floodlight camera. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it, or if you have any questions about it, then drop them below and I'll try and answer them for you. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more smart home content and practical reviews like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.